Good morning, dear friends. Uh, last uh, 15 lectures, we have learned different things about electrical vehicle and uh, what you have, what are the main uh, requirements of uh, uh, propulsion in electrical vehicle and uh, different concepts also, block diagram, everything. So in this lecture, I would like to explain uh, the electric electrical machine as a propulsion uh, electrical machine will act as a propulsion electrical motor so what are the main qualities it should have to be the propulsion of electrical vehicle so already we have learned all the energy sources should have uh, high specific energy and high specific power and high specific energy why we need then only we will have the speed range how much the speed range can be increased if the energy uh, specific energy is more and if the high specific power power is more automatically the acceleration the rate of acceleration we can increase and we can get more power so accordingly uh, in this lecture i am going to explain uh, what are the main properties of electrical motors uh, especially dc motor brushless dc motor permanent magnet synchronous motor induction motor and some other special motor what are the main characteristics however i am not going to explain much detailed about the construction point of view only the comparative study and whatever the knowledge i have gathered through the different articles and all just i am share so let me share my presentation now <coughs> I hope you can see my screen. So now as an ele electrical motor is as a uh, propulsion machine, propulsion in electrical vehicle, it should have the following qualities, especially as I already told you, high power and it should have high, high torque and wide speed range, then only high specific power and high specific energy, which will accompany these three things, which will help this to produce these three qualities, then high efficiency, that means losses should be reduced and should have a reliability, reliable, and another one, robustness should be there and uh, cost should be very less. Also small size should be the small size. Why small size? Already it will occupy more space in electrical vehicle and low noise is as well so these are all the main qualities uh, one uh, should understand before selecting this electrical motor so maximum we have to uh, uh, avoid the issues related to this type of uh, qualities then brush the dc motor already we know permanent magnet is in the stator normal dc motor permanent magnet is in the stator and the rotor having the winding of uh, let, rotor have the coils so as the heat generating portion is in the rotor brushes are there commutators are there then wind coils are there so it is very difficult to uh, cool the rotor reason is they as the rotor is rotating it is very difficult to cool that rotor side so that is a disadvantages of brushless or this dc motor brushed dc motor however it can provide maximum torque in low speed low speed up for low speed it will produce maximum torque but another disadvantage is sir it is bulk in structure that means that it is a big one based on the power rating it will increase so if you use this electrical vehicle it will occupy more space low efficiency as i told as i told you already some of the energy will be wasted in the form of heat and uh, losses will water copper loss rotor losses will be there so then heat cannot be avoided as in the center of the rotor as I told you already, rotor is rotating. It is very difficult to cool the rotor as it is a heat generating part is in the center of the rotor. Then second one, however, even though these are all the disadvantages are there, some people have uh, uh, analyzed with the different uh, motors, DC motors in uh, different companies. Uh, Fiat uh, used to series DC motor and uh, Bongo used uh, DC Shandu motor, Conceptor G-Van used to see DC separately excited motor. So 
as i told already it can provide maximum torque in low speed even though uh, this is uh, it is not ful fulfilling most of the requirements of uh, elect requirements the propulsion as a electrical vehicle the reason is losses are more efficiency is less uh, due to the efficiency is less structure is bulky uh, reliability is very less some maintenance will be more uh, commutator problem maintenance uh, brushes or be there it will be heat it up and it will be have to change it periodically so these are all the main drawbacks to be the propulsion in electrical vehicle if we use this uh, separate that our dc motor next let's see about permanent magnet synchronous motor in the permanent magnet synchronous motor only the difference is magnet is placed in the rotor permanent magnet rotor is another windings so if the rotor is another winding main when compared with the brushed dc motor main advantage is here is you can he cooling cooling can be possible we can cool uh, the windings cool the windings accordingly that is a main advantage then another one uh, main I will, I will list out some of the advantages in the next slide only the difference is here permanent magnet is in the stator in the rotor in pressed dc motor permanent magnet is in the stator so the rotor is here permanent magnet then their stator is the permanent magnet so only the difference so cooling is also possible that is what in order to explain that i have shown this diagram from the net brushless dc motor brushed dc motor brushless dc motor rotor is inside magnet is inside outside rotor the stator will be there windings will be there so hall effect sensor people are using for sensing uh, the signal through the sensing of uh, hall effect sensor we can have we can measure the speed of the motor as well also we can uh, based on the rotor position we can trigger the inverter switches also then uh, toyota prius is in the year 2005 they have introduced the vehicle with a uh, brushless dc motor so main qualities are rotor is in permanent magnet and the stator can be supplied by using inverter why this is called as brushless dc motor we are even though we are giving dc supply we are the input is dc supply but we are in between motor dc supply and the motor we are using inverter by by sensing that hall effect sensor output we have to control the switches such a way that we it has to produce the output voltage it is just motor has to run rotor feedback has to be sensed by using a hall effect sensor and accordingly we have to trigger the switches so that a motor will rotate so as the rotor is permanent magnet when compared with the dc motor and compared with the induction motor also uh, losses are less rotor copper loss is not there the reason is rotor is permanent magnet but if you use induction motor also there is rotor as well as stators or windings so losses will be there then it is lighter and uh, smaller one and it can dissipate the heat as i told already more reliable has more torque density and specific power and uh, when uh, when the when the speed is increases torque will uh, decrease Uh, that's another one property of this brushless DC motor. Then another drawback of this brushless DC motor is permanent magnet cost is more. So automatically the cost of brushless DC motor is more, much more when compared with other machine. So then permanent magnet synchronous motor. This is another another type of. Uh, another type of motor where the more or less, more or less permanent magnet synchronous motor and brushless dc motors are same the more or less the reason is uh, rotor is permanent magnet the only difference in that permanent magnet and uh, uh, that uh, brushless dc motor is brushless dc motor see the diagram stator are concentrated winding concentrated winding therefore due to that induced to emf for trapezoidal wave but in this permanent magnet synchronous motor rotor is permanent magnet stator is distributed winding so induced to emf for pure sinusoid so that is the only difference stator is uh, concentrated winding in perma in brushless dc motor so that back emf will be trapezoidal then here 
uh, stator is uh, distributed winding therefore back emf for sinusoid then main qualities also we can explain by, by with the, the explain by comparing the different parameters for permanent magnet synchronous mission permanent magnet synchronous mission as a propulsion it is installed in Toyota Prius Nissan and Kia Soul so these are all the companies they have already implemented with permanent magnet synchronous motor as like pressureless DC motor all the advantages it will be also aligned with the permanent magnet synchronous motor reason is rotor is permanent magnet provide AC supply yeah, to the stator through inverter we will give the DC supply DC supply output is given to the inverter inverter is properly controlled based on the rotor angle of the motor we will, then only motor speed will so uh, motor speed will be increased so then copper loss also not there in the rotor reason is rotor is permanent magnet it is quite another advantages of this permanent magnet synchronous motor is it is can kind of possible to different speed range with the gear without gear system also we can we can make it then efficient and compact suitable for uh, wheel application in the wheel applications especially when we apply wheel when the uh, wheel is there we will at, we can attach this motor with wheel so motor speed is same as uh, speed of the vehicle that also possible then it has high torque at low speed and huge iron loss at the high speed during wheel operation this is the only disadvantage these are all main uh, qualities of permanent magnet synchronous motor then another one induction motor so it is good commutatorless motor right then already we know stators are uh, stator is uh, distributed winding rotor is also distributed winding so that uh, what is the main thing is flux component and torque component is taken from the supply in induction motor but as we have that uh, good advanced power electronics and control strategies especially vector control the induction motor can be controlled as like normal dc motor by controlling flux component and torque component separately by in this uh, we can land this vector control in the machine modeling as well so uh, based on that we can control the motor so we flex flux also we can separately control torque also separately we can control by us like a dc motor tesla model s yes. tesla model x and toyota and G gm also they have used this induction motor as a propulsion in electrical vehicle then another one switched reluctance and synchronous reluctance motor so <clears throat> Lucas has introduced to this switched reluctance motor. They are simple and robust construction, low cost and high speed, less chance of hazard, long constant power range, high power density will be there, robustness is there, fault tolerance also there, efficient and small. At the same time, drawbacks also there, very noisy, low efficiency, larger and heavier than permanent magnets motor, complex design and control problems in controllability and manufacturing will be there then low power factor so these are all the main drawbacks of switched reluctance motor and synchronous reluctance motor then finally we can end up with permanent magnet assisted synchronous reluctance motor merits are the power factor is good when compared with the synchronous reluctance motor free from demagnetizing problem which is absurd in interior permanent magnet synchronous motor so when compared with that uh, uh, this is good uh, that demagnetizing problem is also less so normally this type of uh, motor is already implemented in bmw i3 model so these are all the main uh, main uh, main different uh, uh, different parameters we have to consider for choosing electrical vehicle as a propulsion then ironless axial flux permanent magnet motor merits are no iron used in the outer rotor no stator core lightweight better power density minimized copper loss and better efficiency and uh, means the losses are less variable speed applications we can use in electrical vehicle <coughs> rotor also we can fit in the lateral side of the vehicle it also possible in this ironless axial flex permanent magnet synchronous motor so accordingly uh, i would like to finish this lecture but only by comparing uh, this all the machines 
uh, i hope uh, this presentation is very helpful to you this is all those things is based on the literature available in the google and different platform accordingly i have studied and i have presented in front of you i hope it will be very helpful to you most of the time nowadays permanent magnetic synchronous motor and brushless dc motor are good nowadays booming uh, in a limelight for electrical as a propulsion in electrical vehicle i hope this lecture is very helpful uh, so in this forthcoming lecture i will come with a different sessions in electrical vehicle uh, also i hope you understood everything wish you all the best thank you